All right, here's another scout fly. Samos is so mean sometimes, but I think that's why everybody loves him. Because he's useful, even though he's mean. Oh yeah, you know what we gotta do? I remember finding this, this, ow, oh, ow, oh, that hurt. Forgot there was fall damage. Oh gosh, Daxter was like sticking to the floor. Seagulls. Let's buzz them for kicks. For oh, kicks. Um, but there is a precursor to, yeah, wait, uh, uh, now I'm getting it all messed up. Uh, <laughs> there is a uh, thing you can get here for scaring away the seagulls, which is really funny. Oh, there they go, there they go. Somehow they did that. Somehow. Well, that was crazy, a little dramatic. They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. I don't see how they did, they like, didn't touch anything. I think it was just happenstance, Daxter. I think they just happened to have a, you know, there there's, just was a uh, avalanche right as we scared those seagulls and we just unneedingly scared seagulls in the harm's way. Oh, these ones I always would miss and I'd be looking all over the place. So, gonna get those now. now let's get across to here and the fall damage reminds me of Donkey Kong 64. There's a couple things in this game that remind me of DK64. This, you know, sort of this, especially this area where we're at right now, reminds me of the, uh, I guess sort of like the opening area to DK64. I didn't play that game too much, maybe one day. But um, I definitely see the similarity. You can tell that this game has a lot of inspiration from all the like big N64 platformers. And then a little bit of Crash Bandicoot mixed in there, of course, since they made that game too. Well, look at Jack's arm definition. He is looking jacked. All right, so let's get over here. Did we go up here? I don't think we did. Because I think we only need one more uh, scout fly. And that shouldn't be too bad to find. I know all the paths in the game. <laughs> yes, I do. This game is the only game I think I have totally memorized. Like Jack 2 and 3, not as much, because I played those games later. And they were much more difficult, so I never got as far in them as a youngster. So this is the part right here where we need the Forbidden Jungle. So we'll have to come back. But hey, I don't mind coming back. I love this place. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. And it's also one of the easiest areas in the game. There we go. Shortcut. Because I need this. Thank you. He's like a pet weasel. Sort of, but he can talk and he has an attitude. Okay, so I think this is the path we need to go to to get a couple things. Including the last scout fly. I see it right ahead. Did I miss it? No, I didn't. Okay. So we already have almost 200 uh, precursor orbs, which will be helpful. I'm gonna break that. Oh, did it pick up? No. It... Oh no, that was only the sixth one. I'm all out of whack then. I just don't know how to count. Are you near the egg yet? Almost. Don't rush me, lady. Just a little further. Come on, push the egg off the cliff. Okay, I'm trying. That was gentle. That was not gentle. Now meet me down here by the egg. All right, well, is the egg okay? Should we just make breakfast? Oh my, I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. I appreciate it. Oh, it's adorable. I forgot no, you. No. Look so no, cute. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. All right, cool, and she just gives us a uh, power orb. Awesome. I appreciate it. Power cell. Why do I call it a power orb? I don't know, but we got 11 of them so far, but yeah, Fault Flood is something that we actually use later in the game. Here is another one. All right, grab that. That's gonna be our seventh. Awesome, <laughs> two power cells in a row. I mean, you never see a power cell out of the original Jack either. Like, there's just a lot of stuff this game has that Jack 2 and 3 don't. All right, watch it, he's still shooting bombs at me. I don't appreciate that. All right, so we found all the scout, scout flies in this area. If I check, we're missing one more orb, or one more uh, power cell. I know we can't get that just yet and we're missing a couple of those. I'm pretty sure most of those we can't get right now because we need to go to the Forbidden Jungle, so we'll worry about that later. We can go back and cash in a couple of our orbs for more cells. That would be good. Oh man, I really miss this game. The music is so gosh darn good. 
yeah, he is an Otsal. They, rev they reveal that at some point. And I didn't get this one. I thought I did, but I think I got another one that's sort of over there. But there we go. That's six. And then there's a seventh one by the Forbidden Jungle. We got it. We're good. But yeah, I think that uh, I have my 90 out orbs for you, sir. How you doing, Mr. Uncle? I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Oh, Cheerio, we will. Totter, bye bye. And then he spends the rest of the game just sitting there in his room. He totally duped us. He didn't have no adventure to go on. He just didn't have any use for a power cell. All right, well, I don't care. I got my power cell. I didn't need the orbs as much. How many orbs do I have now? Which button do I have to press to check? There is a button I can press. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, so I have another 100 that I can give. Or no, 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 yeah, another 100. I can give 90 to you. So uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. Oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, well, well I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. All right. Well, I hope so too. Oh man, he slam dunked that one in there. That was perfect. Good job, Daxter. He's got some moves. I want to see a Jack and Daxter sports game now with all the lovely characters that you would know and recognize like the, the mayor. So I don't think there's any more orbs we can give to him. We don't have too many orbs worth giving anymore. We only have 20. So yeah, when it comes to this area, we I think we're good to just go into the Forbidden Jungle and see what ends up happening there. Because we don't have enough orbs for this guy, but there is where the last scout fly is. So, oh no, oh yeah, that's right. Maybe that I'm getting it all mixed up. There is a scout fly somewhere around there, but maybe it's a forbidden jungle scout fly. We'll find it all in time. What do power cells do? They are what enable you to, you know, continue in the game. There'll be a point in time later where we can't go farther unless we have a certain amount of power cells. They're basically like Super Mario 64 stars or Banjo Kazooie chickies. They are the main collectible in the game that allow us to continue farther. I thought there was a scout fly over here. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, the orbs are sort of just, you know, just for trading. I guess in like Mario 64, you can collect 100 coins to get a star. Here it's sort of similar where you can get 90 orbs, trade them with a villager, and get a power cell out of it. Now narratively, in the game's lore, what do these things really do? I don't know. Let's get rid of you, Mr. Snake. The snakes would creep me out because they come in from the tree and I just was never ready for them. And then he got the little spiked noodles. Don't you hit me. Oh, he was trying to look at him. Get out of here, spiked noodle. And then we got the frogs and the frogs are everything in the forbidden jungle is as, you know, what you would expect in a jungle that's forbidden. It's not something you want to see. It's not because it's a paradise. Speaking of which, Mr. Snake, where'd you go? I know you're around here. There you go, I got you. I dodged a frog, which is, a good thing, but there are actually very well scattered orbs around here, precursor orbs, so we wanna try to find all of them. It can be a pretty big challenge to do that. It's very easy just to miss one and then be looking around for a while. So I'll be trying to find a couple. Oh my. When am I gonna start arms? Probably around uh, an hour from now, a little less than an hour from now, actually. I wanted to play an hour and a half of this game before we moved on to that. All right, get that. Mr. Snake, you're going down? Yeah! I love that you can roll into enemies and that will actually damage them. That's probably my favorite way to take people Let's out in this game. It's also... The the precursor beam. Okay, okay. But it's also my favorite uh, way to do things when I'm trying to, like if I was trying to speed run this game, I'm not a very good speed runner, so it's not something I try to do. But uh, if I were to speed run this game, it's a good move to use. All right, so this is actually the mission we need to do not only to, uh, oh no, 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 I'm getting that mixed up. But uh, this is the mission we need to do to unlock the mayor's thingamajig. So I'm gonna get this started now. That way while we're exploring the rest of the Forbidden Jungle, we'll be good to go. Oh my, uh, there was some property damage. Luckily there's no authorities around. Those Nobody can say it was us. Scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with them. I feel like Daxter has a better accent here than he does the rest of the series. Power cells are an infinite fuel source in the game lore. Oh, that's really cool. In this game, they use to fuel your zoomers and the blue stage machine. That's right. 
I always, you know, I remember that, oh, I gotta get the power cells to play the game, but I always forget, like, the story-based things on when it comes to power cells. But yeah, they're basically an energy source. There's a lot of different energy source-related things, like, you know, the ink out right here. And then it seems like after this game, the power cells do not, like, exist at all. The cursor orbs are a lot rarer, and the game sort of narratively focuses more on eco than anything else, so. And obviously, the the, the 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 next two games actually sort of have a different time setting, but either way, we created this crazy bridge off of just a, a little bit of a eco to uh, prove my point. There's a lot of stuff we can do around here. It's a pretty busy area. But going around here with blue eco is gonna be good, because then I don't have to dive for these, which makes it just so much easier. All right, and get this. This is probably the easiest uh, power cell in this area, or at least one of the easier ones. Okay. Oh, no, that's not the right way. I like this area though, because it's just sort of like, it's just sort of like a vast amount of nothingness, which is weird, but it's just, I don't know. It feels cool. I don't know. I'm probably the most biased person ever when it comes to this game. Any other game, I can look at it sort of Objectively, I just can't look at this game objectively. I, it's just too much a part of everything I love about games. And okay, I got that. Get rid of you. Hold on. Get out of here. Whoop. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. If you're looking for my social medias, all you have to do is scroll down if you're on the desktop version of Switch. Or no, desktop version of Twitch. <laughs> Hopefully, Twitch will be on Switch, but it's not currently. Oh boy, I think we're coming up on the mini game soon. Oh, oh boy, this is gonna take us a moment, isn't it? I think so. I'm really bad at this. Nothing to talk about. Damn monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo, baby, it's your breath. You oh think my. you can do better? Try I think I can. Up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Sure. I did. I could not do this for the life of me when I was of young. Fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. Oh no. There are poisonous eels in this river. Oh, they look so catch mean. Even a one of them boogers, and he'll poison the whole darn catch. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is getting me nervous. But basically, we just gotta catch these guys. We need to catch all the green and yellow ones. We cannot catch the glowy purple ones. If we catch one glowy purple one, as he just said, it'll ruin it all. And it's just, the controls aren't perfect with it. You can't use the D-pad, you can only one. use the joystick. Here comes a big one. I'm good, don't worry. Oh boy, don't get that. I'll try not to miss any of them, but it gets pretty difficult, so I'll probably end up missing a couple. But if we, we if we miss a fair amount, it's a bad thing. Because it'll also end the game then. But it only takes me usually two or three tries, especially if I haven't done it in a little while. Oh my, dodge that, please. I know at some point there's gonna be an onslaught of just poison ones and you just have to dodge. But I mean, this really must work out Jack's core. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the net's at least a little bit heavy. And he's just sort of hanging off. Oh no, I missed one! No, no, I Here missed two! I'm getting the big one. Oh, 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 oh. How much, I think we're supposed to get 200 pounds, right? We're getting there. Oh gosh, here comes a poison onslaught. Oh, a little bit. Oh no, oh no, oh, 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 yeah, oh, no, that, no, it's not over, it's not over. Get it? Oh, I, I almost missed that one. Okay, we still need a little bit more, but it looks like that nightmare is over. I'm holding steady. Here comes a big one. Oh boy. Steady boy. Yeah, we did it first try. 200 pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of land lovers. I'm not gonna go swimming in this open ocean in this game. I know what happens. We'll find out sooner or later. Oh my. Do you suppose I'll make a video game where every level has a swimming mechanic? That game does exist. It's called Abzu. A, B, Z, U. It's a pretty fun game. Anyways, uh, we caught all that dude's fish. That's fantastic. He just sits here and laughs for the rest of eternity. He seems way bigger in the cutscene. I don't know. Jack is a pretty short character though. 
Anyways, we haven't been up here yet. I do want to go into the big temple in the center, but I want to do that after we do everything sort of surrounding it. It's just easier that way, in my opinion. There we go. We're back up to over 100, so if anybody else wants to trade with us, I don't think right now we've run into any other characters. Don't fall. But uh, if we do, we can immediately trade. But I know that there is like the um, the statue, the precursor statue will give us a little, uh, a couple cells for 120 orbs each, which is a little bit more expensive. First try is all Zebra needs. All right, do you see a scout fly up here? Oh, the music here is really good. This place gets so creepy during the night, but it also gets really pretty. Cause like there are certain enemies, like there's frogs, their eyes glow. It just looks really nice. Like I know this game's been remastered on PS3. I would like to see a really well done ground up remastering like Crash God, where it's just like totally modernized. Instead of just, you know, being like upscaled, better uh, polygons and stuff like Jack got on PS3, but way, way, way more in depth like it got for Crash. I think areas like this would just be so good. If they did it right, it would be so good. So I think we've gotten most of the outskirts of the temple. So I think we should be good for a couple more things. I need to do this, and we need to roll on across to here. Oh my, go, go, go. Whoop, whoop. Yep. And then if we get over here, this door only opens with Blue Eco. We gotta go quick. And we got it. Another decently easy power cell. That one's more difficult if you don't know about that location, but. Okay. So now we should be good to go into the temple. The temple would also be super creepy to me because it's very, oh no. It's very open, but also like, I mean, some areas are a little open and then some areas aren't, but it's just, it's just weird. Especially compared to the outside, you know, we got this jungle, everything's overgrown. Obviously there's no civilization, civilization around here. And then, oh my, we, uh, inside, it's very sort of futuristic. It's very, uh, I don't know, just like that. Is there a way over here? Not yet. Oh, hmm. do I need the blue eco for this part? Can build a bridge, I forgot. I bet it'll open a door. Let's go back and get you juiced up again. All right, all right, calm down. Ow, oh, oh, hey, that didn't hit me, good. I don't know how much HP I have right now, so I'll have to be careful. But we're making our way through the game pretty quickly so far. I didn't know how far we'd make it in an hour and a half, but I mean, we're not an hour and a half in. Only 40 minutes or so in. I mean, looking, oh no, we're maybe probably about an hour in. We still have a half an hour left to go. Okay, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, there is a scout fly over here. This area I would always fall from. Gotta be careful. Oh, can I get up here? Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. The game does not want me up there. <laughs> I'm breaking the game. I'm a, I'm a game hacker, bro. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get up here. I know that there is, get that. There's gonna be somebody hiding up here. And I know the first time I got up here, I like basically screamed. No, no, not, not, not this one. But at some point there's like a, there's another lurker lurking. And he just sort of sneaks up on me. And I remember as a kid, I screamed because I was just like, I wasn't expecting it. I went through this game so slow though. Like this would have taken me hours. If that, I mean, I played this game all the time and I would just sort of walk around. I mean, that's what I did with the games. Yeah, this guy would scare the bejeebers out. But yeah, as a, as a youngster, I really didn't do very well at beating games. More of my inspiration for playing games was just to sort of enjoy the landscapes and the art of it. Cause I was never very good at games when I was young. Um, so enjoying the landscape was one of my, uh, just sort of my favorite things to do. Of course, I still tried to beat the games, but exploring it, especially something like Jack and Daxter, that's why it was like my favorite game as a kid. Now we are gonna go down here, but before we do, this is one of the coolest parts of the game because we can just look out and you can actually see once again, these areas over here are areas we will explore later. You can see we're gonna go and travel this like pit of lava to get to the next area. There's like a balloon in the background. There's a snowy mountain. Hard to see every detail. You can even turn around and see all the things we've explored. You know, that's where we started. There's Geyser Rock way in the distance. Misty Island, of course, is covered in mist. Uh, there's the beach a little bit, you can see it. It's just, oh, it's so cool. I wish more games did this, where you could just stand atop something and see the entire stinking game. And I know other games that are sort of outside of this genre, like oh, Skyrim's a good example. You can climb up to a mountain in Skyrim and see the game's world, but not too many classic platformers did that. And that just, I wish more of them did. This game just has that grand adventure feel. Whoa, the game's lagging out again. Like, this is my PS4 right yeah, now. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Okay, this area I found a little creepy. 
just because it's so different. It's sort of like a stark contrast. Oh my, oh my, gotta be careful. Got it, get over here. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't know what's with the frame drops in this. I'm, it's the PlayStation 4. Oh, this is important. This is the thing that loops back to uh, the beach that we'll definitely have to do. It's a big old button that we can press, yay! It is very dark. I'm sorry, if, it, if it's too dark for you guys, let me know and I'll turn up the brightness, but uh, it's only for a couple minutes anyways. Ooh, glowy. Won't be dark anymore. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. All right, cool. And yeah, there are other vents like this that we can find later in the game. I guess actually just one more. I'm having so much fun already. I hope you guys are enjoying me playing through this game. Sorry if for whatever reason you're not, but uh, I'm really having a good time. Let's you know, hop up here. Whee! We're getting a lot of orbs though. Almost 200 again. I mean, we've caught up pretty well. I don't know how many orbs we have left to get in this area, but I think we're making a pretty clean sweep through uh, through uh, the Forbidden Jungle so far, so I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. Don't fall, please. And oh my. It's our first boss fight. It's a weird flower thing. Like everything else in the Forbidden Jungle, it's just a weird flower thing. And you might notice something. Uh, he's mean. But more than that, oh, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Uh, more than that, oh, he's gonna try to bite at me again. He's the thing that is causing all the noodles to pop out of the ground. So I gotta go like this and then, oh man, the camera, like there's a fixed camera here that does make it weird to hit him. There aren't many boss fights in this game, to be honest with you. There's a lot of enemies that you'll end up running into, but not many actual boss fights. I think there's only like three or four. Maybe just, two. yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, three boss fights, I think. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up. <laughs> but I think there's only three boss fights in this game, which is fine. They're good boss fights. There we go. Oh no, he bit one more time. We're about to get him. I thought he was gonna bite your chin up. There you go. You know what they say, keep your chin up. I think he does that to a fault. Oh, don't land on me. I think he can actually land on you and get you there. All right, we got him. <laughs> That's awesome. I can see why you were scared when, when you were youngling. Yeah, I know, it, it's it's just, I don't know, it touches a bit of a creepy game, but I don't know, it's also fun. I mean, a bunch of games creeped me out as a kid. I just got scared easy. All right, do you got any more orbs to give me? I think that's it. PS4 has frame drops because it's a PS2 game running through an emulator. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And it's not fully optimized. I wish that they would optimize it a bit more then. Or just make a full remaster. Booyah, 150 out of 150. That's awesome. So what else do we have to do in this area? We just have to connect the eco beam. So to do that, we have to just continue what we started, which was back at the beginning when we went to that like little spyglass tower kind of thing. I just need to not fall like I did. It should really only happen during the uh, loading screen slash elevators. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It's not unplayable, it's just a little disappointing. Just because I'm used to playing this game without it lagging. But thanks for letting me know, that's some interesting info. It would be cool if they could just do a ground up remaster so it's not emulation and you don't run into those kind of things. So we just need these things, we need to connect them across this area and then we're good with the Forbidden Jungle. I made great time with that. Usually that takes me much longer. I usually die at least a couple times. How long is this game? Uh, if it was your first ever playthrough, it'd probably be like seven or eight hours. I'm going, I'm going. It'd probably be like seven or eight hours as you learn the game. Since I know the game pretty well, I'm expecting that if I stream like the game for another hour and a half session, two or three more times, we should be done. Like it's not gonna be a very long experience. Of course, this first portion, this first, I guess, segment of the game, um, before we go into the zoomer and move on to the next area. I know really well, so I'm going through this a lot faster than I will some of the later areas, especially once we go to like the snowy peaks and the uh, the spider cave. Oh, that one's fun. Where's this next one at? It's there, okay. Yeah, I, I was really uh, surprised with how fast I got through this area so far. Oh my, there we go. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Whoop, whoop. But yeah, this was actually, it's just, it's just weird to think about. It makes me feel so old. But when I started doing videos, uh, there wasn't any kind of dedicated capture card. You know, like today, if you wanna capture games, you know, you have like the Elgatos and the Abermedias. There are companies that design capture cards for recording video games. 
When I started making videos, they didn't have any capture cards that were specifically really designed for recording video games. They just, so I just used other capture cards that were made for like other things like recording DVDs and stuff, but just used them to record video games. And I remember saving up all the money I had, because I was like 13 at the time. I saved up all the money I had and bought a capture card for like $60. And at the time, that was a lot of money for me. And the first thing I did was play through this game. I know that, unfortunately, that series is not on the channel anymore. We should tie a windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Big time. See, sometimes he has that, I guess he gives a like, New England, Boston type accent that he really loses in Jack 2 and 3. It's a little bit different. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. No, I'm definitely not gonna go through this with the zero deaths. Or maybe I will. Hey! Let's go check out old Fish Brett's speedboat at the dock! Okay, so we got a lot to do. We're not quite moving on to the next area yet, because we still gotta go through Misty Islands. But I wanna talk to you, buddy! I helped with your thingamajig! <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you! And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Ooh, boy, another power cell. If you don't know there's 101 in the game, they say there's only 100, but there's 101. So there's our 22nd. So yeah, what else do we have to do? Um, We have the free seven of scout flies, we don't have 240 orbs yet, so I'll wait for these three later. Um, we'll get those on our way out. Guys, a rock done. Sentinel Beach is, oh yeah. We should go do that now, actually. Why not? I just enjoy doing that, so we'll go and do that. And then we'll do Misty Island. I think that'll be all the time we have for uh, Jack and Daxter today. That's fine. Yeah, this shouldn't take me too long to get there. I sort of wish sometimes there was a quick travel in this game, but at the same time, it's not that big. I think I'm just being a little silly. If I just roll and roll and roll and roll, we should be good. Oh gosh, everybody's gonna be attacking me though. If we get across from like right here, and yeah, there's like a little bit of a shallow area, which makes it easier to get across. No, I can't roll though. Oh well. But yeah, now you can see that before this vent was closed, no longer, it is open and we can jump, wait, oh, oh, jump through, hooray! And land, and then jump again. Okay, so for here, I actually need to land on this box and I can break it. There we go. You can also get the cannon guy to shoot at it or you can get the cannon yourself and shoot at it. I also need to, instead of going the correct way, I need to go this way because I think this is the only way you can get this one. There we go. There's probably another way to do that that I'm not aware of, but that's a pretty easy way to do it. All right, we're at 200 orbs. I can't believe it. I mean, that's not really what it's about, man. It's about just enjoying the game. It's not about how many viewers you have on the Twitch stream. I'm just worried about people who are here and you know them enjoying the stream. All right, so let's uh, grab this, just like that, and then land on this one. Got it, okay, good, good, good. Got all of those, and boom, there's all 150. And then if I land on you, let's try it, let's try it. Boom! <laughs> it was supposed to hop off and attack you, but you know what, I don't even need it. And get rid of you. And then there's yet another power cell. I think that's the last power cell in this area. You forget the scout fly. I thought there was a scout fly near the jungle entrance, but there actually isn't. I know where this final scout fly is, but you can see here, we can shoot this cannon. There's nothing we need some, it to shoot at, because <laughs> we already made it shoot at everything we need to. We'll run into another one of these cannons in a little bit, and that's when we'll uh, get to use it a bit more. Either way, though. Um, yeah, I thought there was, but I actually know where it is. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I heard the noise of doom. But uh, I know where it is. It's actually near the um, the Sentinel, or whatever it's called, that has the, the the two power cells that we can use by cashing in some orbs. So I know where it is now. I'll find it, but I'll probably tackle that on our way out once we're done Misty Island and stuff. The noise of doom. If you go too far out in the water in this game, a shark will come out and eat you. And it'll make like a little noise. So that's when you know it's coming. And it's the scariest thing. And I figure we'll eventually accidentally fall in the water and it'll eat me. But uh, you can see, 
over here. Oh yeah, I think there's actually a voice line that'll happen if you go over here. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Yeah, so the so the, the shark made that bite. It's not like as big as that, you know, bite makes it seem. It's not like super huge shark, but it was just creepy as a youngster. All right, let's go to Misty Island. I don't know how much Misty Island will be able to complete in the next 20 minutes, but I'll sure as heck try my best. <laughs>